Well, it is time to get finished on working on the trusses on the shed. Last weekend was a bust for us with the rain. Here comes Brian in with the grinder. <laughs> After making a trip all the way down to Boulder for lumber today because up here. $25 for a two by six. A little pricey. So what are the lumber prices in your area? We did a little bit of a late start today, but making use of the good weather so we can Get the rest of those trusses up, maybe get a roof on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll get some plywood up. We'll get today. some we'll get some stuff up. We'll get some stuff done before we get rained out. So we're on to the final truss, but got to do some things differently with it. Yeah, we had to spin it around before we stick it, tilt it up. And then you said there were some measurements that we needed to do on the truss? Oh yeah, I need to, I need to measure all the lengths and stuff. Because I have to mimic that for the overhang on the outside. Oh. Sixty-seven. I got a sixty-seven there. Ready? Yep. Okay, hold it. Oh, my pulley. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, well. We missed our mark. Yeah. like it's caught on that. Uh, yeah, I gotta get down there to pull it. I just have to take that off and the redo it. Huh? Nope. It's all bent. It'll brace it from this side and then I'll get that thing fixed up there. Okay. And then it'll brace up there.
Well, not bad. Only one truss out of 11 gave us trouble. Yeah. Not bad. Got them all up there. And just in time, because I heard thunder and it's raining. Yeah, actually needs to move that way. We're back, guys. Another awesome, perfect weather holiday weekend. Part two, wrapping up um, the next stage of the, of the shed build. Brian's working on some overhangs. We're gonna go talk to him. Um, taking advantage because later on this afternoon it is calling for rain. So hopefully we get lucky and the rain holds out. We'll get a lot done today. But the weather's been perfect and the wildflowers are in full bloom. I took Vigo for a walk the other day, went up the hill, got a sight I'd never seen before with blue flowers everywhere, bees everywhere. So I know the bees are doing well because there's so many flowers this year. We've had a lot of rain, so that's been really fortunate. But let's go check in with Brian. One done. Some lumber cut already. So, so what part are you working on? All the eaves. And then the bird's uh, beak at the top. So like an overhang? Right, so it'll go, it'll be 12 inches off of here. Oh, okay. Going up until the first angle. And then that whole area will come out a, a of three feet from the peak. Oh, wow. And then it'll diagonal back to here. Okay. So That'll look cool. Yeah. And then yesterday you, you went back and put in these cross right. pieces. Just another course. spacer in there and then something to uh, nail a little bit more to horizontally uh, for the, you know, the top of the first sheet of plywood, the bottom of the second. Mm -hmm. So just cool. give it a little bit more nailing surface and rigidity. Yeah. So... Since the cable is pretty much on top of the, the roof there, we should be able to get, uh, it won't sag as much because oh. the roof will support it now. Okay. So I'm going to use another pulley. I'll add this in and it'll give us a mechanical advantage we can, when we lift up the pieces for the bird's beak. And, um, let's check in with Vigo. What's he doing? Vigo lying on a dirt pile.
lot of angles in that. No, bro. I have to cut this 21 degree angle, plus I have to cut it at a 72 degree that way. Gee. Oh, oh so you have to cut a specific angle to get those to be flush? Is that what you want? Well, I'm, this, this is eight and three quarters, this piece here. Uh-huh. I, I did this eight and three quarters, but I did it eight and three quarters here, and it should be eight and three quarters on the end. Mm. So these line up, but. It looks like you got it all lined up, though. Yeah, but there's like so many different angle cuts, it's ridiculous. <laughs> There's, uh, yeah, I see two angles on that board, and then there's an angle right on this board, and then... There's two on this one. Two on that board. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's what you get for adding bonus I know, elements. Right? <laughs> Going fancy. It's pretty bugging me, so I have to take that whole one apart. Hmm. I think we're going to get rained out some thunder. How hot is it when you need to be underneath the car? Man, that's a hot day. Okie dokie. Well, you got your two matching sides done. Gonna try to put them up. We might get rained out. I can hear the thunder. That was a loud thunder crack. Yeah. Probably need to pack it up. Yeah. Call it a not stand on an aluminum ladder. Oh yeah, that'd be bad. <laughs> I'm for fireworks, I think. <laughs> I think the lightning's coming next. Okay, gonna try again this morning. We got nice sunny skies. So now we're gonna try lifting up the pieces for the overhang. Brian is finagling above with the pulley system to give us a little bit of lift. Hopefully this goes smooth. Pretty easy. Yeah. So we'll do the other side. Yeah. And then we'll do the tops. Yep. The tops will be a little more challenging. Hmm. <laughs> challenging. All right, so we got this two side ones up now for the actual bird's beak yep. overhang, which gave Brian a lot of trouble yesterday. <laughs> Lots of compound angles on it. Yeah, so two yeah. pieces, two parts coming together. That took Brian all day yesterday to get all those angles <laughs> out, get everything measured, cut, redone. So here's one of them right here. This is a compound, so it goes this way and, and in <laughs> so it's hard to see but it's a little bit of an angle this way and an angle going this direction and this direction 
Kind of like cutting uh, crown molding. But it's going to be worth it, right? It's going to yeah. look cool. So yeah. that's why we spend a whole day getting them perfect. <laughs> yep. Now just to lift them up. So the bird's beak is tied to the pulley. Um, Brian's going to push it up the ladder. I'm going to be pulling on the rope and then he's going to hook it on that board he just put up there to rest it and get it into place and then clamp it and then nail it. Of course, right where I need to look is where the sun is. <laughs> awesome. Right. Relax a little. You zoom in the middle part, it's about a quarter inch past midline. So Brian's decided he's going to going to give it a shave. Well, I'm actually gonna shave the other one that I shaved down here. Uh-huh. Then it'll slide a little bit that way. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely a uh, midline now. There you go, you're helping. Doing a little measuring before we hoist the, the last piece. <laughs> yeah. So, Here. Right here. 45-degree angle in there, so maybe a beam, mm, make it okay. look decorative and functional at the same time. Uh -huh. Well, it looks good. It'll so once you trim the end a little bit, you think it'll just. I think it'll just drop down. Drop right down right. and mm -hmm. kind of even out. Yeah. Someone really sleepy.
That's a wrap, man. Just um, the other side to do. Yeah. <laughs> so was it worth doing the bird's beak? Heck yeah. <laughs> okay. Makes it look so much nicer. Adds character, adds a little bit of complexity. Um, pain in the butt, yeah. So. Should be moving ready in no time. Moving ready, yeah. Is this our Airbnb? Bathtub over there. Yeah. Well, nowadays the Airbnb can just be a shack. Yeah. <laughs> hundred bucks a night. So yeah, so there we go. We, that was a, the bird's beak design was an afterthought by Brian. It wasn't part of the original truss design. They probably would have done things a little bit differently for us, but to yeah. compensate for the non cantilevered truss, Brian's going to add like a beam support in right. the middle. But yeah, we'll put a beam up there, a 45 degree angle. Make it yeah. look good. But a day's worth of measuring and cutting, and then half a day's worth of shimming them into place. I you think it's going to look nice when it's all when it's all wrapped up. So you betcha. Got two more to build. We've got the we've got the side supports, but two more two more pieces of bird's beak for the other side of the shed, and then yeah, we'll be ready to sheet it all. Okay. And so we just want to say happy, happy Independence Day, yeah. July Fourth for our American viewers. <laughs> Hope you're having fun today. Join your freedom. We'll see you next time. All right, take care. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's sure done. <laughs> <laughs> it's worthy. It's worthy. Yeah, bird's beak though. <laughs>